Okay, so here we've got the uh, implant with healing cap in the upper right central incisor position, and this is a 3.8 millimeter Zive implant, which you can see color coded because of the gold colored healing cap. So, what we're going to do is remove the healing cap, and for this, I'm using the smaller driver, the 0.9 millimeter driver, and that comes off nice and easily. Pass that across to Lisa. You sometimes get a little bit of bleeding from the gum, but nothing much. So this is the 3.8 millimeter impression post, and this is mounted already on the 1.22 millimeter driver, and there's the screw inside there. And the hex of the impression post should engage firmly into the implant. And as you tighten the impression post, you can see that it's seating all the way down. And you can feel, actually, on the driver, a firm metal-to-metal -metal contact. We take the driver out. And next, I'm being passed the transfer cap. This is the colour-matched yellow transfer cap that sits on the impression post and there we are ready for the impression so here we are with the set Impregum impression in the special tray and we're just going to remove that there we are okay okay so now the impression's been taken we're going to remove the impression post with the 1.22 driver again there we are and I would recommend that immediately you put the healing cap back on so that the patient doesn't feel any discomfort by having a chance for the gum to close up so next we have the impression and you can see embedded in the impression is the uh, yellow coloured transfer cap matching up to the 3.8 impression post and what this is going to do in a second is couple up the uh, impression post to the analogue and reinsert it into the impression. So Lisa now has the 3.8 analogue and also the 3.8 impression post and she's going to couple the two together using the 1.22 millimeter hex driver. And this is going to simulate the relationship of the impression post to the implant in the mouth. So next, Lisa is going to pick up the impression and locate the flat surfaces of the impression post to align up with the flat surfaces of the transfer cap in the impression and seat that firmly down. And I'll just come closer in on that. There you have it, the impression with the impression post and milling analogue attached. Ready to go to the laboratory.